Okay, so tell us about the journey of making these. Well, it was pretty crazy. We've been here for hours. Hours. Yeah. yeah, we got here at 6.30. It's now 10. So, Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh could be a sword then. Would he be a sword to represent him? Or would he be a piece of bread? We're talking about the bread scene where he like... You know in the end, whenever the bread's laid out in front of him? Yeah, I think I think it should have to do with the feast part. With the feast? Okay. So let's see. Because I'm not all about that. I don't know how well I can use that pen though. I'll try. Um you don't have to though, because oh. I can print this on oh, acetate I... for the silk screen, and then you can oh, just draw print. and acetate with okay. a right. sharpie or paint marker. This image represents our individual progression through mosaics. The central image represents the character monkey from the uh, story we read in class. It also is representative of the change an artist undergoes while completing a work of art. Last night? Yep. Hey, how do you do that, Skylight? Burn them? Um, so this pink stuff over it is emulsion. It's like a chemical that you just like wipe over the whole screen. Um, and it's like light sensitive. So then you get these images, and you have to get like a black, with an opaque image on a, a transparent like paper, or, like acetate or vellum or like something that's transparent. So um, I line up these images onto the screen on top of like a light board, and then the light burns through like all the emulsion, but it doesn't burn through the image. So all this emulsion here gets exposed to light and it like hardens, and the light like under the image area is soft and you can wash it out. And this is where the ink passes through. You know, like any art making process, you don't realize what you get into until you're already there, and then you know you gotta finish it. You know, see it to the finish. But you yeah, got a couple a lot of pictures. Of issues yeah. you ran into. Yeah. That we probably solved through. Yeah. yeah. Despite the fact that neither of us know exactly how to register on fabric properly, we still got through that. Uh, the issue was that we had problems registering because um, we're not doing it the right way on fabric and no. T-bar. The eight symbols floating above Monkey's head represents the stories and texts that we examined in class. All of the imagery and stylism flow together to create one image, giving the observer the feeling of completion, which correlates to the end of the semester and the end of our journey in mosaics. We faced like issues when you got in trouble with the gods and stuff like that. And we faced issues too, but to get to like perfection, like a perfect shirt, we had to go through all this stuff, and this is like the moment of like perfection and like we wanted. But you know, I mean, all the characters like went through their own journey, so I think like in a way, all of us kind of like toiling over these symbols for each of the characters is kind of like. Um, I guess like relates to their you know journey and their individual toils, you know, because we're really like kind of revisiting to them in this, spending a lot of time kind of like working with them and working with the imagery.